Hi and welcome to week 26 of economics. So this week uh, we're going to talk about some of um, we're going to talk about global trade and we're going to discuss economic theory as we evaluate the impact of free source inequality, uh, delve into the nuances of trade advantages, examine the United States position in the world economy, scrutinize the effects of protectionism and dissect the complexities of trade wars. So over the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at these uh, economic phenomena and see how each plays a pivotal role in shaping the dynamics of international commerce. So we'll begin with the stark reality of resource inequality, where disparities in natural wealth and access to essential commodities exert profound impacts on global economic systems. From oil-rich nations to regions abundant in rare minerals, the unequal, the unequal distribution of resources fuels economic imbalances. It exasperates geopolitical tensions and perpetuates disparities in wealth and development. We'll then be transitioning to the realm of trade theory where we distinguish between absolute and comparative advantage, two fundamental concepts that underpin international trade. Absolute advantage refers to a country's ability to produce a good more efficiently than another nation, while comparative advantage hinges on the relative efficiency in producing a particular good or service, even if one country is less efficient across the board. Then we'll turn our focus to the United States, of course, a global economic power horse whose uh, position in world trade is characterized by a complex interplay of factors. So as one of the largest economies and a key player in international trade agreements, the United States wields significant influence in shaping global trade policies. It plays a major role in driving innovation and facilitating the flow of goods and services across borders. However, amid the pursuit of economic dominance, nations often resort to protectionist measures, such as tariffs, quotas, and subsidies, to shield domestic industries from foreign competition. Now, while protectionism may offer short-term benefits, it can lead to distortions in market dynamics, hinder innovation, and escalate trade tensions, ultimately impeding overall economic growth and prosperity. Finally, we're going to look at the specter of trade wars, where escalating tariffs and retaliatory measures disrupt global supply chains. This leads to the undermining of investor confidence and heightens geopolitical instability. Trade wars often stem from disputes over trade imbalances, intellectual property rights, and strategic industries, exasperating economic uncertainty and threatening the stability of the global economy. So to conclude, the unequal, the unequal distribution of resources, the principles of absolute and comparative advantage, the U.S.'s role in global trade, the ramifications of protectionism and the specter of trade wars all converge to shape the intricate tapestry of international commerce. These economic phenomena serve as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of nations and the imperative of fostering cooperation and mutual understanding in an ever-evolving global marketplace. So thank you for following along so far. I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.